We hang our heparin. Let's take a quick look at the anatomy of the bag here. Up in the upper right hand corner is your 2D barcode that you're going to use for scanning your continuous infusion. Along the bottom of the bag there is our bolus barcode scanner and you're going to use that for any of the PRN boluses that you're going to give. Uh, note that we have a standard concentration that we use in the hospital. It's 25,000 units in 250 mils and uh, having that high concentration that's also standardized allows us to bolus from the bag and um, eliminate a lot of the potential uh, errors that would happen. So we're going to hang our heparin and now we're going to start programming our pump. So talking to the channel, do channel select and this time rather than fluids we're going to use guardrail drugs. Choosing from the menu um, using the alphabet on the right hand side we can get down to H and grab our heparin which is the top option. Uh, we're just confirming that this is the concentration that was on our bag, the 25,000 units and 250 mils. Hit yes. And then confirm on this next screen here. So we're going to first dial in our rate. So per our order, the initial rate is 9.5, or 950 units, and our volume to be infused is 250 mils. So we're going to hit start there. And note that we immediately get a warning because we've exceeded our hard limit of 5,999 units per hour. Let's go ahead and hit reprogram and see what we had done wrong here. So actually when we di dialed in there we hit 950 mils per hour. Our order was 950 units. So if you actually hit the dose button for um, this programming and dial in your 950 units you'll notice that your rate then is automatically calculated to be 9.5 mils per hour. So that's why our smart pumps here are telling us that we made a mistake because the 950 mils per hour is way too fast. So go ahead and hit start on your pump at this point. So by our scenario here we have to change our rate based on the um, heparin level result of 0.12 which means that we're going to have to increase our rate to 1150, increase by 200 units basically, and we're going to give a 3,000 unit bolus. So let's start by talking to our module. Click the channel select. And we're going to start by changing our rate. So increasing 200 units is going to put us at 1150. And using our smart pump, it's going to calculate our rate for us. So now our next step is to actually give the bolus. And we bolus from the bag so we don't have to open up our closed system. Click on the bolus button at the bottom of the screen and type in your bolus of 3,000 units. It's going to automatically calculate a duration for you. You can go ahead and hit start to begin your bolus. And once it's done bolusing the 3,000 units, it is going to change right back over to our rate of 11.5. Bolus is complete. You'll notice that we've changed back over to our rate of 11.5. Fast forward six hours in our scenario. Our result is back for our heparin level. And it is now 1.04. And based on our order, that means that we're going to have to change our rate down another 100 units and we're going to hold our infusion for 30 minutes. So start by doing channel select. You're going to change your dose from 1150 to 1050. So automatically create a calculator rate for us. And now we're going to use the delay options button in order to stop our pump for 30 minutes. So we're going to use the delay for option within here. Go ahead and type in 30 minutes. And before we leave here, click on your callback options there. Um, we want to change this to no callback option. What that's going to do is after 30 minutes, our pump's just going to restart at our new rate of 10.5 mils an hour. If we use one of the other options, it would stop the pump and require us to come back in. So go ahead and click confirm. And you're going to notice that your pump is now going to show that it's on hold, it's on standby there with the yellow light in the lighthouse, and it's going to restart in 30 minutes. Forwarding 30 minutes, uh, the delay is done, and we have automatically gone back over to our 10.5 mils an hour.